are laying down the beds, but clear out a little bit more of what's on the fence back here. Let's continue on. To another episode of Not Afraid to Garden. So today I'm in another location. I'm not at home. I'm actually at my sister's house and her husband, Fernando. So as you can see behind me, um, we've got a big project ahead of us and I'm really pretty excited about it uh, because we're going to be creating a new bed here. So that has never existed here actually. Um, so they, the garden is pretty big and they use just half of the garden. So we want to be able to, you know, use what you have. So if you definitely have the space, um, why not be able to use your entire garden? So we're going to tackle this whole area. Now there's uh, another property uh, adjacent to here and the property has become a little bit overgrown. Um, so we really can't get into that property. There's poison ivy, there's poison oak, and there's some other kind of stuff. So we're only going to tackle pretty much what's on this fence and try to clear that up as much as we can. And then we're going to move towards uh, the flower bed. Um, we've got the plants already, so I'm excited about that so you guys can see what those plants look like and then um, and then before we start to plant everything I think we're gonna lay everything out um, and, and just to see you know what she wants to be able to see in her garden um, it is her garden so she'll have a choice as to where she wants to be able to place those plants so um, so let me show you uh, just a little closer on what we're gonna be doing back here so you guys follow me here um, we have Two bushes here already. Um, they are a little overgrown for now, but we're going to trim those, and those are going to be nice and round. So those are going to turn out really nice. Um, and maybe we'll just plant something in front of it, just to kind of bring that out. Um, I'm not sure how far we're going to try to get back there. Um, I really would like to go back there because it's one of the bushes that's kind of um, uh, covering the the traffic um, from. There's a highway back there, but that kind of um, Shields, like the noises and stuff like that so that's really nice um, so we have to go see what we end up doing back here but all this back here will be the flower bed that we're going to set up and it's going to go towards probably where that blue trash can is um, in that area and then we're gonna you know just see what that looks like so we're gonna get started so join us all right guys, so we're gonna get started on trimming the bushes that we have here. So remember, we have two of them um, and Fernando is going to give it that nice round look because we wanna be able to shape those two bushes so then we can, everything else that we plant, all that is gonna definitely stand out. Uh, so he's gonna get started and I think he's taking a look just to make sure how, you know, how he's gonna tackle that. Um, so I'm sure that he's going to do a fantastic job. Um, so let's just see how he's going to, you know, give that bush that trim there. Yes, guys, he has his own home remodeling business. So, and he does a great job again with these home remodeling. So, uh, if you're looking for someone to do any work in your home, he is definitely the person to call. So, I will link and put his information on this video. <laughs> that fence there um, because we have to get rid of all that back there because that way our plants won't be able to stand out if we don't get rid of that there so that's the project that we have today and then again shaping a bed here so from over there we're gonna try and see how we can shape and design a bed here to get to that other area back there um, so let's just see uh, how much we get done today, guys.
creeping gel that's right back here and that's a little tough to get out so we're going to try to remove as much as we can back here and then um try to shift some of this dirt around so that way we can start laying down the beds but clear out a little bit more of what's on the fence back here so let's continue on hey guys you can see we're doing good progress I'll bring you a little closer um so we've started down that way and it's kind of hard to to see because of the um you know of, of, of the bushes and all that stuff that we have in the in, in the other side of that of that yard there but but we're clearing out pretty much most of this area here as you guys can see here and over there um so we are moving quite a bit and then again i'm making my way down that way where the bushes were trimmed and then I have to, you know, again, clear out back there so that way you can see a little bit more of what these bushes are, are going to look like once that's clear. Um, so I am moving along this area here. It's just a little time consuming. Um, yeah, because there was, uh, there's been a lot of stuff that has grown back here. And, um, and again, it's, I think we was, it was trimmed back last year. Um, but it has grown quite a bit, so I'm going to continue on just working back there um, to trim. So I'm working with my gloves because, like I mentioned, there's poison ivy. I think there's poison oak, and there's quite a bit of stuff right back here. So I'm going to continue on. I mentioned to you guys but all along the fence you see what I'm leaving behind on the top so she's got um, orange trumpets growing here so I'm gonna leave them there and then once they flower we can trim them down but they're gonna look really nice uh, because again they're just gonna cascade down full of those orange trumpets so um, we are going to leave those there as you see us. so for now we have one two three four them so um so we are going to move all right guys so we're starting here and we have help so we have help now with the flower beds so they're trying to break up and this was actually sod that they purchased last year uh, they had two pallets of it but the sod didn't work out so they placed it here and didn't know what to do with it so we decided to use it more like soil and then we're going to plant the plants on top of there so we need to break it up a little bit more and that's um, what he's doing actually. So he's breaking up that sod and that's gonna be the soil. And actually that's really good soil uh, for the plants here. And then we're gonna just spread it all out and then you're gonna see uh, how that flower bed's gonna end up. But it's quite a bit of work. Uh, again, um, you know, it's, it's just trying to be able to, to bring this, this bed together. Um, this is the first time they're doing a flower bed here. So we're pretty excited about that. Um, so let's just keep working here and see how this ends up. All right, guys, so now we're, uh, George is actually spreading out the dirt now because the, this is what we're going to use, as, as I mentioned earlier. And I'm going to start to kind of shape out the bed um, or what the bed is going to look like. So we're going to bring it in a little bit more towards the fence because this is a pretty big bed. That would mean that we need tons of plants to be able to fill this bed up, uh, which we don't have today. We have a lot of plants, but not this many. Um, so we're just going to bring it in a little closer and then we're just going to kind of spread this all out and then take it towards the back there. Um, and as you can see, we pretty much cleared our area of the fence. Uh, the other side of the property, I think my sister's going to call the township and she's going to get that. Hopefully they'll come in and they'll clear all that out. So it'll look even better. Um, so we're going to continue on to shape this up and then um, so then we can start planting the plants, which I can't wait till we get started with that. So let's keep working.
there. So we pretty much have the bed now kind of set up and then let's just push the soil towards the end of this flower bed. I like the fact that it's, it's, it's kind of high, so which is really nice. The plants are definitely going to stand out on here because it's pretty high. And then um, we're just going to take that further back. And then we're going to go get the plants and they start planting here. So, um, yeah, so just I uh, want to show you guys again what we're going to continue to do here for a minute or two and then, um, and then we'll take it to the next level. find the bed a little bit more here so from this area they're just gonna have to probably plant some uh, grass seeds so that way the grass can grow in here and the plants are coming in Look at that. So we've got a lot of plants here that we're going to um, plant on this flower bed um, we're gonna place them probably you know put the flower pots how we want to arrange them and then um, we'll figure out how she wants to be able to to put the flowers um, on the bed there so but it's definitely looking it's looking better i just can't wait till the township actually clears that whole area and that other property there once they do that her whole fence area here will be clear you're only going to have um, just these trumpets that i left here so these are orange, orange trumpet uh, trumpets so I have a couple of them here and as soon as they're done flowering then we're going to trim them um, so then we're definitely going to take care of that uh, but yeah so it's definitely looking good and, and once that township takes care of that um, her, her flower bed here will definitely look really good um, I want it to be able to continue on back there but that will be another project another day and just take this bed kind of from here and to take it like on a on a circle angle right there and then that will be a flower bed there so we'll focus on that um, another time I think for now we're just going to take it up to that bush there and um, okay, so pretty soon we're going to start laying out where some of these plants are going to be um, placed and then they have a hot tub here and i think we're going to tackle that another day so we're thinking of placing like a border all the way around with probably the river rocks or the white rocks and maybe put some hostas all around it so that way we can more define that tub um you know and maybe get a nice cover for it when um when they have once we get to do that so that's another project guys that will be coming later on and then the uh, continue the flower bed behind me um, again on another day so we're doing this job in just one day in just a matter of a couple of hours we managed to clear everything from here um, and created this bed so this is how again you can start from scratch to create a flower bed if you're looking uh, to create a flower bed the great thing is that we had that old sod and uh, George managed to chop that down that sod really good and then it kind of turned to dirt so that helped us here and gave us that raised bed that I think um, wasn't uh, even thinking about having a raised bed here but I kind of like the look 
So let's start laying out the plants and then see what they're going to look like. All right, guys, so we laid out the plants. Um, we haven't planted anything yet, but this is how we're going to, I think, lay them out. But look at all this color. Look how beautiful everything looks. Look at this. We have a little bit of everything. We have yucas back there. I have two of them in the back. Um, these, I'm not sure what, what these are called. Oh, salvia. Okay, so we've got salvia and these. Um, oh my gosh, I forget the name for this one. But it's like a, like a grass and it grows these purple little flowers on there. So we have, we're alternating them all the way down to the entrance from over there. And then we have two red bushes, red rose bushes here. Look how beautiful these rose bushes are. They get huge, guys. And we place them again underneath the sun here because they definitely need the sun. Um, I've got tons of these. These I brought from my house. Um, these are beautiful. These are called rose something. I forget the name. So I have this one. Uh, that one there um, but I think the other two are white and that one is uh, like a pink color so we're gonna plant that and then um, we have some cat mint we've got two of them um, so we've got the reds going on for the back and we have some of the purple like a little purple area going on here so it would be nice if that one turns out to be white and then we have the Russian sage, which is purple here also. So two catmints and three Russian sa uh, sage. When they flower, that's gonna be beautiful. They're gonna look there. And then we continue um, with the salvia all the way down. And then we've got three of these. Um, again, uh, we continue the purple theme here. Uh, this is sage metal meadow sage look at the purple on this one guys look how beautiful that looks um, and again all these plants are perennial so they're going to be coming in and she has she won't have to do anything to this garden next year and then we've got our shade garden on this area so we've got two ferns here in the front and then we got the three hostas coming in. Later on, we're gonna tackle this area here. Um, she's gonna get rid of a lot of these trash cans that she doesn't use. And then it's a shady area, so maybe we'll continue the, um, the ferns and the hostas probably all the way down. So that's, again, another project. But um, all they have to do is probably just mulch this area here. And again, the fence is looking really good. Um, so if you can see that and you see it all the way down um, I did get rid of most of that um, overgrown weeds that are growing here and look at the flower there I do like it I really like it once they mulch this this is going to come out really nice um, so right now we're going to start to plant everything um, in its place here so we've moved pretty quick again with this flower bed, guys. This is this was a pretty big flower bed. Um, you don't have to start this big. Uh, you can start with a smaller flower bed. And just make sure that you realize, you know, is it under the sun or is it under the shade? And that also depends on the plants that you're going to place on these flower beds. So we did the sunny side here and we've got the shady area there. So it's exciting. So let's plant these plants. here is the top of the fountain so she had a fountain already and we decided to put it right in the center of the bed so look how nice that definitely has some more elegance a nice touch for the birds to come in and and get a drink so the guys are now placing the top of the fountain on there look how beautiful that is oh my god that is gorgeous so George is leveling it there. Yeah, that looks really good. Oh, let me look at that fountain. Beautiful. I'm glad she had that. So, um, so that's another idea, guys, to just place some type of, um, you know, a fountain or some statue or something in your bed, so that way you can 
just bringing a little more character to the to the bed. It looks fantastic already, but I love that water fountain. So now I'm going to go ahead and plant all of these plants. and then we trimmed you guys saw how we trimmed the forsythias um, and then one of their evergreens that they had here so this definitely looks better now um, so again we're working throughout the garden you know little bits and pieces here and there um, later on we are going to tackle that area here she has a jacuzzi a large jacuzzi here um, and she's going to get a cover really nice we're going to do a flower bed around the jacuzzi and then it's going to have some steps on this side so you got to have the vision guys um, definitely when you have a garden so uh, so thank you again if you're tuning in for the very first time welcome uh, don't forget guys uh, if you like plants indoor plants outdoor plants renovations that's what this channel is all about so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe hit that notification button and don't forget to like peace